Good day, good day, and how the honk are ya? Yeah, welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Hot Wheels. The 2015 Land Rover Defender Double Cab. Yeah, there's five of these buggers. So this might turn out to be a longer video than uh, previously here on Roverland. But first off, uh, yeah, welcome. Hey, if you like what you see, go ahead, like, subscribe, and tell a friend, share. All right, so in uh, 2018, after over a 30-year drought, Hot Wheels decided to uh, go ahead and get back into the Land Rover game. Uh, the last time we had saw Hot Wheels doing a Land Rover, they did the Range Rover. Yeah, if uh, you know, and I don't have one right here close and handy. That well, that's not uh, you know <laughs> customized. But anyway, here's the first one that we've got. Uh, it came out in a tan. It uh, has the what they call B L O R, the beadlock off-road tires. Uh, pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty snazzy. Um, First things first, what I'm going to do is uh, show you what I've got on the card. And uh, so I've got, you know, this is what it looked like when it came out from the stores on the card. Pretty, pretty standard, pretty, pretty cool stuff. And here's the back. And it was in the Hot Wheels, uh, I don't know, category. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So uh, 20, new for 2018. So that was uh, the first thing. Now I do happen to have a, uh, on the short card, I am a card collector as well as a loose collector. And uh, we're going to be talking about the features and everything uh, coming up. So the next color that came out, uh, I believe it was still in that same year, yeah, 2018, was this, uh, they call it uh, eggshell green, I think they call it. Pretty sharp, got the same wheels on it. Pretty much the same graphics, just another color. And this is what it looked like in the package. New for 2018, yep, recolor in the, later in that year. Um, interestingly enough, um, there are cards that came out that did not have the 2018, the hot year, the Hot Wheels month 2018. That would, I believe, is July. And uh, so there's two, two variations of this card. So uh, more of a limited edition for the card that has that on it. I, I don't know. I set those aside. The normal card just looks like this. And it does not have that anniversary month badge on it. Now, why do I have this one in a protective pack? Well, let's take a look. Oh, got a little bit of an error there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I believe I found this one in the wild myself. I believe. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it, you can see it has the correct wheel on the back, but uh, it actually is, is the correct wheel, but what, what would be the next model coming out so <laughs> kind of interesting there so uh i got an error there and then like i say i've got one in the package that i've saved because of the uh badging i don't know i'm just guessing that maybe in the future um those might be worth something i don't know i'm a collector so we'll see what happens <laughs> all right so then uh the next model that came out color scheme was this one here and um, this one now had a different set of wheels on it this uh, has the OR 6 SP which is off-road six spoke and now the decal has changed it went with the uh, next oh, it's not gonna focus here we're gonna get some focus I think we are. There we are. We got some focus. 
I, I call it Nexon tire. That's uh, what I believe I they call it. So uh, and it's got a camo type uh, design on it. So uh, kind of interesting there, but it's a silver. Uh, once again, a uh, little bit different, but the same. This is uh, the card art. Now this came out now different. This was in the Baja Blazers series. So it kind of jumped a category there. But uh, there you go for that. I don't have a short card of that one. No, nope. still on the lookout. <laughs> and uh, the next version uh, was kind of a tie for me. Um, they say, I'm just going to look at this. these kind of both the same. They say these both came out the same time. But I got this one first. So we're going to talk about this one in the wild. This is the one I got first. Um, this is uh, the, the orange rust, they call it. Uh, now I don't remember really exactly what they call it. But uh, here's the card art on that. Still uh, 15 Land Rover Defender Double Cab. Which, by the way, let's take a moment and talk about that. That is, uh, this is actually a 109. Land Rover would call it a 109 double cab, uh, long wheelbase. They, they really, yeah. Um, it's a Defender, that's for sure. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's what we've got there. So that's a recolor, and it came with different wheels. These are called the Bajas, Baja 5. Obviously 5 denoting the uh, 5 spokes that they have there. But smaller, much, much smaller than um, the other ones, which the other ones I thought were kind of, uh, yes, American y, too American y for me. They're balloon tires, wagon wheels, as we might call it here in Wisconsin. So uh, not very realistic as far as a Land Rover per se. This is more realistic. Not too jacked up, not too wide of tires, but this is more realistic than, than the other ones. So then uh, what came out next was the Zamax. Yeah, I can't believe that Land Rover got to be a Zamax already from Hot Wheels. And this was a Walmart exclusive. Um, blue with the silver, which is different than the other silver, obviously, because this is silver paint and this is silver kind of zamac the color of the the metal that they're made out of so pretty interesting there got a blue window in this one and now uh, let's take a look at the card art there now uh, this one also well this came from the baja series baja blazers and this one also has the uh that uh 2019 which is different than the 2018 which which we saw before remember that's 2018 now this is 2019 so they uh, kind of redid that but it's still in the month of July there so uh, pretty neat that way pretty neat that way I'm gonna kind of adjust the camera here so we can take some more closer looks at these so that's what I've got um, now, I've got to confess, I do have quite a few of these on the card in the collection. Yeah, <laughs> they're kind of, uh, I was kind of happy that Hot Wheels came out with these, because Hot Wheels, by the way, they're going to mass produce stuff. Uh, Matchbox doesn't uh, produce quite as bit as much as Hot Wheels does, so I was kind of happy that they came out with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these cars individually. Uh, wait a minute. What, what's going on with this? Uh-oh. Yeah. Somebody's gone and drilled out the rivets and customized this one already. Yeah, look at that. So uh, this is the first year of the tan. We're going to take it apart, take a look at it, what, what it's composed of. So we have the metal metal base or metal cab which is uh, pretty detailed pretty nice doesn't have the cutout in the Alpine windows as we talked about that but at least it has that uh, the mirrors are correct the snorkel is correct now this is uh, 
a left hooker, as they say, which would be American. Uh, the Land Rovers, and uh, obviously the UK, would be uh, right hookers, and that denotes the uh, steering wheel. So Hot Wheels support, that's pretty neat. Pretty neat details. Uh, no details on the back, just side deco and on the roof. I got a good scratch on that one. I must have been playing too hard with that one. All right, so there we go. We have the top. And that kind of, Now, the first one came with a clear window. And then we have the, uh, yeah, what I call the exo interior, interior exoterior. <laughs> so not bad. It's got some nice detail on the inside. Uh, the three bench seats across the back. Now, the Defender would have the correct uh, tunnel hump there and uh, the uh, high back seats in the front. So that is correct that way. Uh, let's just take a look at the front. No details on the front, but a uh, nice bull bar, as you would call it in England. And uh, no indicator lights, but nice bull bar there. Uh, it's got the eyebrows in black, which is kind of nice because they're all black in on the originals. Uh, this would be the bed of the truck, which uh, normally I don't think they're ribbed. I've never really seen a 110 Defender pickup cab before, so I couldn't tell you. I got mud flaps in there. Then on the under underside of this, this has got the prongs to hold or help down, hold down the axles there. So uh, that's a uh, one, two, three, four parts and wheels. All right. So let's take a look. Now this has got, uh, yeah, this is held down by three prongs. I just popped those in there. So it's got these, um, I don't know, perforated. I don't know if they're like aircraft landing perforations, uh, side step sides there. Kind of neat, custom. Now that's gonna be in the gray, just a gray base. On the front there, it has the winch. I don't know if that's a worn, worn winch or if it's a mile marker. You guys know the difference, right? Uh, then uh, the other side, and then on the back, pretty neat. Uh, not quite sure why they changed the position. Well, I, I like that they have the hole for the PTO shaft, but it's on, it's on the wrong side. Normally they're on the other side. I don't know if they switched it for defenders or not, but pretty good details on the pumper, correct angle here. Uh, it does have the plate for you to mount your own um, uh, tow hitch on. So that's the tan one there. We're gonna set that one aside because we're gonna take a look at the green one. Oh, look at there, somebody uh, customized that one too. Oh, did a little details to the front. <laughs> All right, let's take this one apart real quick here. Same thing, different color. Pretty neat there. It's got the clear glass. Okay, got that. Got the uh, black interior, exoterior, and the gray. Now this seems to be a No, I guess it's the same. Uh, gray interior. Uh, did a little customizing there on that one. So, uh, okay, okay, you want to see the customizing I did on this. Just some marker lights and uh, the fog lights. Did the back end of the body. Just a uh, simple little, uh, what did I use? Magic markers or uh, uh, Sharpies. Yeah, got a, got a set of Sharpies. All right, so let's jump into the next one. Oh, what do we got here? Yeah, the silver one was the next one to come out. That came out with a different paint scheme. Uh, and some other subtle difference, the, the wheels were different. Uh, like I say, these are the OR6 SPs. Let's take that apart real quick here. Just moving right along. Same thing, just a little bit different uh, uh, de decals. Obviously no, fr no rear decals. But this is nice. Smoke glass. That's kind of nice. Uh, same interior and black base which is sharp so that's pretty cool it seems like these with these big huge wheels they got a lot of play in their axles but uh, so that's that one and last but not least we're gonna take a look at this one now I don't have too many of these 
Zamax, and Zamax uh, are a little bit more collectible. Uh, if you're a Hot Wheels collector, you will collect this. If you are just um, a Land Rover collector, you probably wouldn't collect all the Zamax. If you're a Zamax Hot Wheels collector, you got to have one of these. So the demand on these is pretty high. I think these are going to be a little bit more um, valuable on the market. And once again, I do want to mention it has that badge of Hot Wheels Month. Uh, this one's 2019. So I have not drilled apart <laughs> one of these. Uh, so uh, let's get back to this one. So this is the... Uh, the copper, they call it, and uh, same kind of construction, no tampos on the back, same tampos as the model before, and uh, just a nice clean truck. Pretty accurate, pretty accurate. I've got to take my hat off to the Hot Wheels. Then, uh, nice again, smoked windows, black interior again, and uh, now we've gone with uh, a little bit different shade of gray but it's a gray base same base just a little bit different and then it's got these lot cooler wheels if you ask me so uh pretty neat pretty neat i i like that now this is where the fun comes in this is where the fun comes in if you've got the means to drill out these holes and you don't have to tap them you know if you're not you know your kids aren't going to play with them so they they don't have to be drilled out but now we can take these and have some fun with them. Like, uh, let's do this. Well, we need a interior. So let's put an interior on it. Totally different. Let's, uh, I want to go with the original, but you know what? I want, I want some smoked windows in there. So we're just going to do some, uh, customizing right away. This is kind of one of the neat things and this kind of why I was so excited that Hot Wheels decided to do this is now there are multiples of these around so now I can customize without getting all into it or too deep and got to have a lot of things paints and this and that so there we go it's like the first one but better <laughs> that's right that's right all right, well, that's going to about wrap it up. We're shooting on to about 20 minutes, uh, 18 minutes here. So if you've got any questions or want to see any more about these, this is this is what I've got in my collection. This is what, this is what I do. Um, if you want to see more, well, stick around because we're going to have more right here on Roverland. Once again, thank you very much for uh, stopping over. Visiting with your friend Dano. Oh, the blue windows. That would look so cool. I'd really like to be able to uh, take one of these, strip it, flat matte black, black base, black wheels, blue windows. Oh, kind of murder it out. Oop. Yeah, that's right. That would be awesome. Well, hopefully I can find some of these used in the garage sale for nothing uh, out of the package. So, all right, that's it for today, folks. We're going to close out this video. Thank you very much for joining me. Remember, like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified. And also join me on Instagram. That's Roverland Channel on Instagram. And Facebook, Roverland. This is your friend Dano. Catch you later.